Hey kids, today we are going to make a pom-pom bow. It's kind of windy <clears throat> occasionally, so I'm going to hope to be able to keep things in place. And we are on Kitty's area, so she might show up in the video since she's sitting there looking at me like, What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm going to be wrapping this or making this bow, so I went ahead and I did all of this and got this ready. I'm also, this is probably about 12 inches worth of ribbon. I also have a rubbish bag nearby <clears throat> and I bought a total of about seven yards of this acetate ribbon. Usually I have uh, them in different colors. I didn't have it in the specific blue that I wanted for some reason so I just went to the craft store and bought a couple of yards. But you usually use about approximately five yards which is kind of on the conservative side, but um, I should have bought more. Anyhow, how I do this is I love big, fabulous bows, and I don't think I bought enough of it. But <clears throat> what I normally do is I will make the bow approximately the size of the package. So I measure across that way and cut, use that as the top, bring it down, and bring it in to make one really large circle. Let me move the package out of the side. Then what I do is I get a piece of tape just so that it stays in place and doesn't get lost and have to start again. <clears throat> okay, so there we are with our big bow and all my ribbon down there on the ground. So I just hold it right there and I just start spinning it in my hand. And we're going to continue until all five yards of the bowl, I mean of the, the ribbon, is all caught up. And now Kitty, ha <laughs> Kitty has decided that chasing the ribbon on the ground is a fun thing to do. You want to come up here, B? Alrighty, so now there we go. And I ended up right there just shy of coming you know full circle so what I'll do is I will do this you bring it in together there's the tape bring it in here you want to come up here honey come on yeah you can be in the video <clears throat> you bring it in here and usually what I used to do was I would just flip it in half like this and I would hold it over my trash bag and I would cut a V. I saw a different way online recently, whereas if you leave it like this and just make the Vs here on the corner, you want to make sure that you don't cut too much off and leave, you know, approximately what, about a half an inch or so right there. And I just leave the bag right under there so that this the ribbon doesn't fly everywhere because this stuff uh, will fly and relocate. Let's cut that off. Okay, so here's the, stay away from the, you know what happened the last time you tried to tag my scissors. Yeah, you ended up crying and it made me hurt, my heart hurt. So you stay away from that. Okay, <clears throat> so now you have both ends cut there and there and you bring them together right here in the middle okay there's another piece that we can cut i always cut oh you like to tag it and what i do is with that 12 inch uh piece that i had before the, <clears throat> the website that i saw suggested using a piece of wire but i'm just going to do what i normally do Acetate isn't really forgiving, so when, make sure that you um, get it right. Of course, now everything is going crazily, but uh, right there, see what I mean by it's not forgiving? It, 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 it shows where it's been crinkled. Let me get rid of this because it throws the white balance off. Okay, so now this is what we are left with right here. Right, babe? And I go in from 
the inside and I pull and I twist up. Then you go from the opposite side hang on, while I lick my finger, twist, pull up. And you continue going from the off, you know, different sides each time. Twist and pull up. This one probably could have used <clears throat> at least eight or nine yards just for the bow itself to make it as big and full as I like to make it. So now I'm regretting that I only got seven yards. Okay, and then the last one you just kind of twist. Then this side has, has pulled, you know, buckled loose just from the pulling. But you go ahead and you do it again from this side. You like playing with it? You like playing with that ribbon? Pull it up. Pull it up. I think the fuller it is, the prettier it is. So <clears throat> I say if you have a big package like I have, that's what she said, um, just get more yardage and go crazy. So there we go. And then a nice twist. Now, so this is what we're left with. And you can go ahead and just mess with it so that... See, it's not full enough. It's not as full as I like it to be. But this is what Dad's going to get this year. Then I just push it under. And... Turn it that way. Sorry, baby. And just attach it. And you can, I always, I like to just every once in a while do different, you know, different ones. I, I'll, I'll leave a, you know, a inverted B, B or I'll leave it cut on an angle. Well, there you go. And I'm going to mess with this. You can also use the, um, the wire rims, those look really pretty because then, you know, you can um, really place them and bend them to the way that you want them to be. Um, but there you go. Simple, beautiful pom-pom bow. Okay. Pull back a little bit. I guess the outside light is really harsh. There you go. 